we have Tom Borelli, who is an energy expert. And uh, we definitely have an energy crisis here in America with energy prices yes, skyrocketing. And uh, the middle class is being heavily burdened. Specifically, what, is, what are your thoughts on this energy crisis that we're having? Well, first of all, President Obama, from the very start, has really a war on fossil fuels, but especially coal. Remember, then-candidate Obama in 2008 said, under my cap-and-trade plan, electricity prices would necessarily skyrocket, and a utility could use coal, but they would likely go bankrupt. That was before he was president. Since then, he's been delivering on his promise, especially with coal. EPA has issued a number of regulations, and coal-fired power plants are closing. In fact, over 200 coal-fired power plants are going to be closing. That means higher electricity prices, and thousands of coal miners are losing their jobs. And they're very upset, and it's election time. So President Obama better look out. Now, where do these coal miners live? Well, Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia, these are big coal states. And a lot of states, even Indiana, 90% of Indiana's electricity comes from coal. Ohio, over 80% of the electricity comes from coal. Ohio has, I think, about 10 coal-fired power plants going to be closing. So that means higher electricity prices in Ohio. You can't get manufacturing jobs with electricity prices high. Why would you build a manufacturing facility in the state? That, that's going to have high energy prices. It makes no sense. You know what, though? Coal is dirty. Isn't coal dirty? Doesn't it pollute the air? I mean, that's, isn't that a problem? Well, listen, the coal industry and utilities have spent billions of dollars cleaning up the emissions from the coal-fired power plants. They just can't do it to the nth degree that EPA is requiring. Remember, President Obama wanted to bankrupt the industry. That was his goal. And what, he's, what does he want to replace with it? Well, wind turbines and solar panels. How has that worked out for the American people with all the stimulus money that went to, to these companies that then went bankrupt? It's a failed energy policy from a failed president. Yes, yeah, Solyndra, how much did that cost the hardworking taxpayer? Over $500 million. Five, almost a half a billion dollars. The only one. And we know the, uh, President Obama also wanted electric cars, and they're having a horrible time trying to sell the Chevy Volt. And now the battery manufacturers are going bankrupt because there's not enough sales, and we gave those companies our stimulus money as well. So this whole green bubble is popping. 85% of our energy comes from coal, oil, and natural gas. Cheap energy provides an increased standard of living for all Americans and for better job growth. Well, all of the, these government regulations, do you find them to be harmful to the free markets? Well, absolutely. It's not a free market. <clears throat> We're we having a, a president who has a command and control energy policy. He's picking the winners and the losers. The losers are the coal industry, the losers are the oil industry. The winners are his crony capitalist allies in the renewable energy. And as taxpayers, we lose on both. That's why people got to get out and vote, vote for their own pocketbooks. So clearly, these, these stimulus programs were harmful to the hardworking taxpayer. Well, we're paying for it twice. First, our tax dollars went to these companies, then they go bankrupt, and then they're raising energy prices to try to make the expensive renewable competitive with cheap coal. So it's a twofer. We're getting really sandwiched together on energy. Well, thank you very much, thank Mr. You. Borelli. Nice thank talking you. with you. We'll be talking to Great. you soon. Thank you very much. Stay tuned. More interviews from Champion News.